I can't get over how good this back strap is. I mean, you know, they are part of the goat family, I, I believe, but man, they taste more like venison than. Nice. Uh, you don't need to do too much to fresh back straps. Mm. Rare inside? Perfect. Perfect. It's delicious. Tasty. For the helicopter yeah, now. Definitely homemade. Oh, that's him. Here. here we go. Let's get out of here. How cool of an experience is this? You're dropped off on the public land, you pulled back out. It's a very unique New Zealand deal. Very cool. We were just eating back straps three seconds ago. Now we're heading back to town. For me, when I travel to any place, whether it's a different state or a foreign country, doing as much as possible on your own is what really creates memories that you take home and you remember the entire time. And it doesn't have to be a big hunting memory. It's just being on the ground, doing things yourself, driving to the gas station, filling up, paying with credit cards, you know, eating out, cooking out, exploring countries with maps. All that is what really creates the big memories that surround a hunt. And I think a lot of hunters miss that. I mean, so many guys will show up to New Zealand or Australia or Africa, an outfitter will pick them up at the airport, drive them around, take them to their hunting place, take them back to the airport, and take them home. And they, they got a slice of the hunting culture, but they didn't see the entire country. When you rent a car, rent a camper, drive around, figure out all the nuances of the country yourself, it makes for a much more memorable trip.